Welcome back. Tom is over at Smouse Brothers today. Yes, Tom, with all this rain lately, can they help us with these flooded basements and crawl spaces? You know, when it comes to the Smiles Brothers, yes, they can help with all of that. I've got Jess Smiles with me right now, of course, the owner. Mm -hmm. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. All right. You know, everybody's looking. It's hot. It's dry until, you know, we get those gully washers. So you can't ignore what might be happening from time to time to, exactly. to foundation, basement, crawl spaces, things like that. Yeah, it's a weird thing to think about your basement flooding in the middle of a drought. <laughs> yes. But when the ground's so dry, the water tries to find anywhere to go to, and it's going to look for cracks in the walls or, you know, the crawl space is usually a spot that'll fill up with water. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, it's just a weird thought of my basement flooded, but we're in the middle of a drought. Okay, and, you know, you see... People tend to think when you say, oh, I've got a crack in the foundation, they're thinking this big crack and, oh, well, yeah, you can see the basement through it. But actually, water, it, it as you said, it seeks where it, it can yep. go easiest. Little bitty crack can do a lot. Yeah, I mean, you can have a little hairline crack, and, and if water's getting pushed to that, it's going to go that path of least resistance, mm -hmm. and it's going to find its way to the other side of the basement, and no, no one wants to find a puddle of water in their bedroom. And, and, of course, you know, when you think about the groundwater, the pressure, it's not just, like, trickling water. There's a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. a lot of weight behind this water. Yeah, I mean, water is the most destructive thing on the planet. If you look at the Grand Canyon, it, it just carves through rocks. Mm -hmm. So cracks, it's just going to keep eating away at that crack, and it's just going to, more and more is going to come. Yeah, given time, water will eat through anything yeah. anything now you, you, you can you kind of show me what you look for when you know or what I should be aware of when I'm looking at uh, you know foundation things like that yeah so for this house for example there's a, a little crack right here in the the wall oh just this little thing here yeah and okay. when, when we had all that rain on uh, Sunday water found it and and you know they came to a puddle in their basement and that's the source of it. Um, you know, there's a downspout right up the hill from it, and so all of that water is just getting pushed right in the direction of that crack. Okay, now we have the problem. You have the solution. Yeah, there's, you know, every house, there's a different plan usually for what it is. Mm -hmm. um, something like this, we'll look at redirecting the water. We'll also dig up the crack so we can seal it, so we can essentially keep anything from being able to come through it. Okay, and, and from what I remember from, you know, talking with you in the past, you work outside and inside because you may not see it well here but it may be a whole different thing on the inside yeah there and you know water's going to find whatever path it can get into so sometimes it'll build up under the the basement slab sometimes uh -huh. it comes through the wall so there's different repairs for how the water's getting in and how to stop it yeah and i know we're also going to talk about that from the inside mm -hmm. in a little bit but what, what, you know, if people suspect they have something, what do they need to do as far as getting you guys out here, take a look so you can, you know, give them, oh, here's what you need, mm -hmm. here's what you may want, estimates, things like that. Yeah, so you can go to our website at smousebros.com or you can call our office at 417-988-8201. Mm -hmm. And I would think that, you know, when you look at the whole picture, this might be a better time than waiting until we start getting those the rains in again as we move in toward fall. Yeah, because, you know, essentially once we hit springtime and even fall time, you might have a week or two straight of rain. We're here, you can hopefully deal with the problem before it comes back again. Uh huh. I would also think another thing to, to keep in mind when you're, when you're looking at, you know, the estimate that you would give, that's a whole lot different than having to replace a foundation, a, a chunk of foundation. There, you know, there, there's some repairs that can be very costly, but there's a lot of them that are are very budget friendly to, to stop the problem you have. All right, so that's kind of what it looks on the outside. We're gonna go in and take a look at the inside in, in the next segment. So you know, you, Jess and I will go in there and kind of show you different things you might look for on the inside. Back to you guys. Great, thank you so much, Tom.